Now because a solution is defined by its components and the concentration of those components, it's very important uh, to be able to uh, define the concentration of your particular solution. And there are various units to be used. In this video we're going to talk about molar units. And the molar unit is defined as moles of solute per liter of solution. I abbreviate solution S-O-L-N. So it's moles of solute per liter of solution. The uh, accepted abbreviation is a capital M for the unit, the abbreviated unit. Um, and sometimes if it's in a sentence, it will be called a molar, like a two molar solution or whatever. And then when you're talking about that particular unit, you'll say the molarity of the solution is two. So it could be two capital M, two moles solute per liter solution. It could be referred to as molar units or molarity. It's all the same thing. So you want to be able to use those um, terms interchangeably. Okay, let's look at an example of determining the molar concentration of a solution. The question here, it says, what is the molarity of calcium nitrate solution when 10 grams of calcium nitrate is dissolved in water and brought to a total volume of 500 milliliters? Okay, so this is going to be an aqueous solution because it's dissolved in water. And we have an ionic compound. I recognize calcium nitrate as an ionic compound that's going to dissolve in water. Okay, and so um, the first trick is you have to know your nomenclature. You need to know the formula of calcium nitrate. So um, calcium nitrate is Ca. It has a plus 2 charge as an ion, and nitrate has a minus 1 charge. So the correct formula is CaNO3-2. Okay, so um, what's given though, uh, we know for molarity, the molar, molar unit is moles of solute per liter of solution. That's how we want to express our concentration. But the units given were grams of solute and milliliters of solution. So what you can do is start with what's given and write down the concentration in the given units and then convert to the desired units using dimensional analysis. So I'll start with what's given. It was 10 grams of the solute, which is calcium nitrate, in 500 milliliters of the solution total. Okay, so that's our units that were given but we need to convert to moles of solute per liters of solution. Liters of solution are easy. Um, since it's milliliters, you just use your metric conversion. There's a thousand milliliters in one liter, and that will convert, uh, uh, for solution in this case, that will convert um, that unit from milliliters to liters. Now I'm in units of grams per liter, but it needs to be in, expressed in terms of moles per liter, so I'll just convert my calcium nitrate from grams to moles, um, and you do that using the molar mass. Okay, so all you have to do is look up on the periodic table and figure out the molar mass of um, calcium nitrate. Calcium is 40, um, so we've got one calcium and that's 40 grams per mole. I'm leaving the units off for clarity here. Um, the nitrogen, there are two nitrogens in this particular formula, so that's going to be 2 times 14. And the oxygen, there's three for every nitrate, but there's two nitrates, so there's going to be um, six oxygens times 16. So the total mol molar mass here is uh, 164 grams of calcium nitrate per mole of calcium nitrate. Okay, so that's my molar mass. So I'll use that as a conversion factor. Let me see, I need to, I need to lose the grams, so I'm going to put that on the bottom, 164 grams of calcium nitrate per one mole of calcium nitrate. The gram of calcium nitrate unit cancels and I'm left in units of moles of calcium nitrate per liter of solution. Okay, I'll do the math and I come out with a molar concentration of 0.122 molar concentration. Alright, one more question here. Um, the next question says, what is the molarity of the calcium cation? And to answer this question, you have to remember what happens when you put an ionic compound that's soluble in water, the ions separate. So for every one mole of calcium nitrate, 
that I put into the water, I end up with a mole of calcium ions, but the nitrate separates, and there's two for every one formula unit, so I end up with two moles of nitrate. So the molarity of the calcium ion itself, this is the molarity um, that we just calculated of the formula unit of the formula. Um, and since we measured out 10 grams of that compound, that's the concentration of that compound in solution. But if I want to look at the calcium ions individually, since they're in a one-to-one -one ratio with the formula, then I would say that the molarity of the calcium cation is also 0.122 molar if I'm just counting calcium ions. And then the next question is, what is the molarity of the nitrate anion? Well, the nitrate for every one mole of of compound, I have two moles of nitrate. So if I'm looking at the concentration of the nitrate individually, I would say that it's double the concentration of the formula. So it's 0.244 molar. So that's a uh, next level of uh, complexity and being able to really think like a chemist and know uh, the difference between expressing the concentration in terms of the formula unit or the individual ions.